Good morning, my fellow Redstone aficionados. Today we are going to be taking a look at a fully automatic bee farm. That's right, bees, bees, bees. And if you don't know what that means, it means we're going to have some insane flying machines here coming up very soon. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So today we're going to be taking a look at how to build this fully automatic honey farm which, like I touched on, is going to allow some excellent flying contraptions. Um, it's, a f it's actually a really simple design. If you look, we've got sort of like an item filter thing going on back here. Um, that's just a comparator hooked up to the beehive. When the honey is ready, it hits the repeater. The repeater activates a dispenser that shoots a glass bottle directly into the hive. Or nest. Is that a hive or a nest? It's a, it is a hive, okay. Shoots it directly into the hive, which then gets picked up by a hopper, sent over to our chest system, and voila. Uh, one centralized storage unit. Uh, of course, it can be expanded multiple times, and this is 100% tileable as well. Um, I got a lot of the information from Il Mango's videos on Beehive, so I have to give him a lot of credit. Um, but I actually designed this. I don't know if someone else has designed something similar. Um, but this is my design. I didn't rip it off of someone else. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's dive right in. Uh, you'll notice that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in a row. You really don't want to have more than eight in a row. Uh, the bees tend to clump together. Um, which is not good for efficiency. It takes them longer to find their flowers, it takes them longer to get back, their pathfinding just kind of goes all wonky. Um, so yeah, but as soon as that gets full, hits the repeater, dispenses, hopper system, boom. Um, and the reason that this works so well is because with this block right here, you can actually extend the rail system. So what I've got in these mine carts is glass bottles, and they just go back and forth, refilling everything. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing this more than two or three chunks long, just because it'll start to dispense more frequently than it gets refilled, and it takes a lot of glass bottles. And I don't know about you, but I prefer to use my glass for building and redstone, not for, uh, honey. <laughs> so... Uh, you'll also notice that I have a nether portal set up directly underneath this thing. And that nether portal is going to be really important in the future because if you want this farm to be efficient, it will have to be built in the nether. Uh, bees don't work uh, during the nighttime. So if you build it in the nether, there is no day night cycle. And to be honest, if you can get on the nether roof, it's an excellent place to build a chunk loading system, as well as a bee farm. Um, nice flat open terrain, just like this. So, if you want this thing to be active while you're doing other farms in the overworld, it's pretty important to set up a chunk loading system, even if it's just a dropper system that shoots items through, uh, catches them, and then shoots it through again. Uh, that's actually the system that I have in my current survival world. I will upgrade it to a better, more precise one at some point. Um, but, I mean, it works perfectly. I can AFK at my iron farm. I use the poppies to send through the portal. Um, I definitely did rip that off of the uh, <laughs> the Psycraft series. Sorry, Ilmego. But, I mean, it works. If it works, it works. You can't hate it. Um, but, yeah. So, if you ever want to turn the farm off, you can just click it off, and disable your chunk loading. Uh, so as far as building this thing, we are going to need some grass blocks. And you'll notice I have two hooked up to each other, and that's to allow this to be built identically right behind it. Um, and it, it will fit in here, and it doesn't matter what sort of a configuration you have. This... This right here will not ever 
hit the other side because it needs a strength of five. And if we go one, two, three, whereas one, two. So it'll disable the comparator before it ever hits the other side. So these can actually be exactly back to back without any issues, um, which is why I did it this way. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's just jump right into building it. Um, sorry, I've got my shift toggle, and I really like the toggle on it, but it messes me up <laughs> quite a bit. So, it's a really simple design. You've got a hopper with a bee nest on top. From there, you just surround it with glass. And if you want to do it just single wide as well, that's perfectly fine. It works just the same. Um, this just allows for a little bit more pathfinding, a little bit more room, a little bit easier uh, configuration for the bees to select a flower and then make it back. It, it's a small difference, but it works just the same. Although on this one, you'll see I put stairs on the front so you can actually breed them inside of there to get more, more bees. Uh, there is such a thing as too many bees, though. Um, but so, yeah, we come back here. We do some iron blocks. One, two, three, back. And then you come up one. From there, you come up one with your glass. You get a dispenser ready. And you have that pointing directly into the hive itself. And from there, it's just calm... Operator. I have done a great job setting up this video, huh? It's just a simple comparator coming out of it. Redstone dust, one, two, three on the, the iron going up, four, five, and then a repeater. And from there, you can place a solid block right on top of it. And that's it. You're done. You block in the bees, you put in bees, you put flowers on, and... I mean, that's all there is to it. Simple beehive. Um, anything to worry about. Oh, if you exit the game in the middle of a full cycle, it will lock the dispenser in the on position, and when you re-log, um, it will not... It will not... Uh, oh, goodness. All right, there we go. Um, it will not actually dispense the bottle, so you may have to come in, break a block, or break a piece of redstone and repower it manually, but uh, it happens very infrequently. It's literally only if it's in the middle of shooting the, the bottle out. Um, oh, I've placed trapdoors on stairs so that you can breed them from right here. Trapdoors, I have learned, are your best friend when dealing with bees. Because, fun fact, they like to roam everywhere. And by everywhere, I mean I actually went through and did a slash kill all entities command because they got out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that pretty much sums it up. Um, you can also just mirror this over one and stack it as many times as you want up to build height if you want um yeah 100 percent tileable 100 percent everything uh oh you do have to make sure that these are full with glass bottles otherwise it'll dispense the honey bottle and pull it right back in and that will break the machine but that's why we have the mine carts with chests up here to consistently refill them. Um, as soon as you collect your yields, go ahead and pull out all of the glass bottles and throw them right back in the machine. 100% um, reusable. Yeah, it's just a high startup cost. So, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Smash Ketchum, and I sure hope you learned something today. I know that I sure have. Thanks, and have a great one. Love ya, Smashy.